like that intro today we are friday i have a couple activities planned for the weekend so i'm pretty excited for my day today i'm gonna go thrifting then after later tonight i have basketball with friends tomorrow actually i won't tell you guys just yet we're gonna make our way there and stay maybe one to two hours hello oh hi did i call you accidentally oh yeah i didn't mean to call you sorry hello what I can't hear you. Bye. Bye. Okay. That was my mom. Okay, so let's do a little metro cutscene. I like the metro cutscene, so let's go. We have a long walk together. We have like a 20 minute walk together, but we made it to one of the, if not the most popular spot in Montreal, and that is Orange Julep. I've only been here once actually, believe it or not, I've lived in the South Shore of Montreal my whole life, and I only came here this summer. I tried their famous orange cream soda drink. It was all right, like a lot of people go crazy for it. I found it good, like I'd get it again, but it's, I don't know. It's all right, it tastes, it tastes like an orange creamsicle, if you guys know what that is. It's pretty good, but yeah, let's keep walking. This place is very dead, very industrial area. I'm gonna walk like 20 minutes through this. Ah, no, it's not 360. These guys like waved at me. I stared at them for a minute, I was like, huh? Anyways, could possibly get robbed here. I have an expensive camera and I'm wearing fake Eric Emanuel shorts, which I am going to get a patch to cover it because I'm actually really embarrassed to wear like, like these shorts are probably like $400 retail, 400, 500, I don't know. Like I would never buy these shorts, you know, but I really like the color and the fabric. That's why I got them. I was low-key wanting to like scrape off the logo, but I would probably ruin the shorts. Anyways, all that to say that I look like I'm subject to get stolen from. And we're in a very dead area. We'll see how that pans out. Little do they know I'm going thrifting at the bins, you know, which is funny. Uh, guess I'm gonna get started. <clears throat> It's very weird energy in here. I don't know, we'll start looking through stuff. Okay, let me explain what I mean by a weird vibe here. So as soon as I stepped foot into this place, the music reminded me of a fast-paced street market, which added to the already frantic atmosphere. Everybody was throwing clothes around, diving their hands into the bins going over people to try to get into different piles of clothes it was a mess and most of the people there looked like vintage resellers so it felt like everybody was competing to get the best clothes so this wasn't the experience i was expecting i, sh I should have listened to the reviews because many of them pointed to this but anyways enjoy the supercut of my thrifting session <laughs> Gotta check if they have a CD at first. Then they do. I get why people come here with clothes. I feel kind of gross touching all this stuff in my bedroom. Is.
Oh man. Honestly, that that took it out of me. I don't think I'm gonna be going back there again. It was very cheap. Like, I think I spent five dollars, but the energy in there isn't great. It felt like a hostile environment. You know what I mean? Yeah, I started getting hungry, so I'm here at. You can't see it, but it's Wendy's. I only had been Wendy's once in my life, so we're gonna have it again. Let's see what's up. What have I done? Ah, I took chili cheese fries. I don't know why I did. Saw her pour the chili and the cheese on it, and I was like, yo. I'm so sorry. That's actually pretty good. I'm so sorry. That's good. I can confidently say after eating this, I did not feel good. It was not good. And I give it a 4 out of 10. I was just really hungry and craving fast food. That's all it is. inviting my friends over, hanging out with them for a little bit later than I thought, so I woke up pretty late. I just felt like I had to get my stuff together. I didn't set like a specific time to clean, and I just felt like my space was too cluttered and dirty, so I actually really like cleaning, like it's therapeutic for me. But yeah, I have to set a good like one or two hours because I like to take my time when I'm cleaning. I really like having my space organized and clean. Lately, a common theme that keeps reoccurring for me is balancing staying at home and feeling comfortable being in my own space, but also being able to go out, have fun, and be with my friends. I feel a lot more organized on schedule, on routine when I just stay home, go to sleep early. But if I go like a stretch of a week or two with just doing that. I get burnt out easily because when I'm at home, I, I feel like I have to do something that's productive. Like I have to edit or I have to answer emails. I have to study. I'm not very good at being like, okay, today I am just going to rest at home. You know, I always feel like I have to get something done for me to be able to rest or else I feel guilty, which I shouldn't be, you know? We, need, we all need rest days. We all need some days where we could just sit back and just do things that we enjoy. I don't know if this is making sense. I'm kind of just ranting out about my things that I've always struggled with. Being able to have healthy rest. Not quite there yet, not very good at that yet, but 
I'm much better than I was. So yeah, today once we're done cleaning, I'm gonna do some studying because I have I literally haven't done any studying or reviewing since the semester started. So far it's okay, but I feel like once the assignments and the exams are gonna start rolling in, I'm gonna get hammered and I don't want that to happen. Let's get this cleaning done and eat lunch and I'll see you guys after. like this mm -hmm. Monday Tuesday Wednesday any day of the week you do mm -hmm. you you're gonna get the best because I'm a, what, what, what words for the people wise words give us some wisdom the future is now not never oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yo, I ain't got much more to say bro always fresh Monday to Sunday Sunday to Monday mm -hmm. so you already know it's 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 backstage uh, I just got here everybody is in the back over there behind me getting ready for a show we're taking a few pictures before the show, so... So we're like minutes before the show. I don't know what's going on. It's like so hectic. There's a lot of things going on at once, but it's fun. I'm enjoying it. This is my first time at a fashion show, and it's pretty fun. Everybody here is so tall and slim. It's crazy. But I like it. I'm getting into fashion, so it's nice to get a look at the behind the scenes, what goes down. This is the first time at a fashion show, guys. Second time. Second time. But this time we're really in the trenches. And For real. Look around you. I'm mad sweaty right now. I can't imagine like what these guys are going through. Because I'm sweating and I just have a jacket. How sweaty are you on a scale of 1 to 10? I mean, a good 7. 7. On the way to 8 maybe, but... <laughs> well, apparently there's a whole line, bro. As if it's a nightclub. You said like it's a nightclub. You gotta get in line. I'm trying to get in and see the show. And after that, we're back to work, back to creating. Especially for the youth, man. I want the youth to look at this and be like, man, I could do that someday. That's, that's the most important thing, you know? And you can. You can. Anything that you want to do, you put your mind to it, you can you do it. He's Dr. Stone, Lano's Dr. Stone. I need a. I need a little. You'd be a. Uh, you'd be Zabza or something. Zabza, I could rock with Zabza. I could rock Seven Swordsman type shit. Yeah, yeah. That boy here, I don't know, though. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Um, 
There, there's a drifting anime, I yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, it's like with a D or something? Initial D. Yeah. Initial D. Initial D. Yeah, he'd be an initial D. He's in the wind. Yeah. That's like losing your virginity. Yeah. That's it. Yo. Initial D. Yeah, that's crazy, crazy. That's crazy. taking some pictures hanging around but it was really fun really happy I came a little aftermath yeah. man a little aftermath you know it was proper you know a lot of energy mm -hmm. first yeah. walk First, first walk. walk. How was, how was the walk. first walk, man? It was great, man. It was yeah. a great experience, man. Okay, Felt confident okay. in my shit. Man. Yeah, it was good. Much more to come. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. the first of many. Good experience. I don't know what we're gonna do now. Maybe go out. Maybe go home. I don't know. We'll see. I actually ended up going back home after that last clip, and that marked the end of my Saturday, but not of my weekend so this video is actually part one and i'll be releasing part two next week i'll be releasing some previews on my ig if you don't follow me and you want to see that go ahead and do that at pat can't vlog yeah that's right i'm trying to be consistent you know haven't really been able to do that lately but we're working on it and with that being said i hope you guys enjoy the video do what you can i'll see you next week. peace